Hey guys, good morning. It is 10.45 and I've been up for a while, but I am just got myself, found myself downstairs. Oh, it's starting to clear up a little bit. It's pretty ugly this morning. I was going to go for a walk because I just suck at life and need to get it together here with the working out and eating right. I haven't gained any weight, but I'm not losing any either, which makes it extremely <laughs> upsetting when I go and step on the scale every week and I know I haven't done well and it just always is the same. I'm just like another week down in the books that I could have been losing weight instead I lost nothing. Now it could be worse, I could be gaining, but I've kind of just maintained my weight after having Autumn. Haven't lost, haven't gained. I'm pretty much exactly where I was after I had her. I mean within a few pounds. I don't know why it does that. Within a few pounds because I was um, probably a little bit heavier when I first first had her and then I lost a little bit of weight and that's where I'm at right now so I haven't gained but it's like every time I lose a few pounds and then I gain it I feel like I'm gaining it all back in my stomach or <laughs> my chin <laughs> you know places that you don't want to gain it back and so anyway I'm just kind of having one of those like feeling sorry for myself type of days which is nobody's fault but my own but we're all entitled to those one of those every now and then so I'm back on it again for the umpteenth time and not even back on it just I'm just gonna try and really watch what I eat it's just that we have so many unhealthy options that's the thing I need to just toss all of my unhealthy stuff out or I need to get more willpower one of the two but anyway today is not going to be a lazy day instead of going walking since the weather was super ugly I got up and took a shower and just put my hair down in a braid I'm gonna get it cut this weekend like regardless whatever happens I'm gonna get it cut this weekend because I'm done it took so much for me to I was gonna say dethaw unthaw whatever but detangle my hair too much effort to detangle it it's getting chopped off I think I'm gonna go a little bit lower than my shoulders just for kicks. I know some of you guys don't like short hair, and that's totally fine, but if you were brushing it every day, you probably would be totally with me on this. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to figure out currently what we are going to do for dinner tonight. I think I'm gonna do cheesy chicken or smothered chicken. I've been watching Shelly's Home Life and she made this the other day over egg noodles, I think. Um, all I have is one can of cream of mushroom. I don't have cream of chicken. I've made the Italian chicken before with two different ways. You can either do, I think that's what I'm going to do today, Italian seasoning all over the chicken with a can of cream of chicken in it and you let it slow cook for a while. And actually I think I'm going to put this in here so I can get it out a little bit easier. But, uh, so I've done it like that before and it's delicious. I've also done Italian chicken with just chicken and a whole bottle of Italian dressing which I actually think I have and I probably could do as well do I have some Italian so I, I think I have some Italian sauce in here yeah I have a whole bottle of zesty Italian so I could do either one but I think I'm gonna do the mushroom over some sort of whole grain pasta I have penne rotini I think that's all I have rotini and spaghetti so I think that's what I'm gonna do the like cheesy chicken mushroom chicken whatever I'm gonna put some Italian seasoning which is just this one Italian regular Italian dressing mix like as if you were gonna make your own dressing or I may just put my own seasoning decisions decisions I may just do my own seasoning and just save that now I'm gonna do this I'm so confused <laughs> and I'm just gonna put the whole can of cream and mushroom with the two pounds of chicken a packet of this and some of my own seasoning let it cook all day till it's shreddable and then serve that over egg noodles and I actually think I don't have any fresh mushrooms so I actually think I'm gonna put in some mixed veggies later and kind of make it like a half chicken pot pie type of thing but with egg with noodles or some sort of pasta and I also saw that she has cauliflower rice and I don't know if you can make I need to look up a recipe if either you can make that or you can buy it I think she had it frozen in or like in an individual pack but she lives in a different state than I do I'm sure from her accent I don't know where she lives but in a different state and um, so I want to look for that to see what it tastes like so I'll show you when I'm done okay so I just put two packets of Italian seasoning and I sprayed it because I don't have any more liners. I need to buy some more crock pot liners. But um, 
put two packets of Italian seasoning since I have two breasts of chicken. They're in there. <laughs> They're just frozen together. So I have this on high since my chicken's frozen. And I'm just kind of mixing up the um, cream of mushroom. I didn't put any water. I just put because the chicken will lose some, um, some thinner fluids that'll mix with this. So now I'm just kind of mixing the cream of mushroom with the Italian and kind of slathering the chicken with it. And then I'll continue to mix this probably two to three times throughout the day until it the chicken is shreddable. And then once it's shreddable, I'll shred it and let it sit there. And of course, I'll show you guys later. We're having a little midday Jolly Jumper sesh. Autumn! Hi, <laughs> mama. Hi. Yeah. Midday Jolly Jumper. So I'm up in my office. My office. <laughs> Doesn't that sound super? Ah, my phone. I'm having a very frustrating day. This is like all I've been dealing with all day. The second I turn around and pay attention to her, there she goes. Perfectly fine. Second, I turn around and try and do some stuff. She's having cow. Yeah. But I'm just so cute, I can't help it. Uh huh. This has been my day. Okay, today we are trying corn. Again, yesterday she really liked it, but I think I mixed it a little bit too much with other stuff. So today all we have is corn and broccoli. She's like, oh yeah, I can taste the difference, Mom. This is not as good as yesterday. Huh. Let's see. Okay, so I'm in carpool line to pick up Emmy and it was the wrong day to wear a tank top because, it's, because it is torrential downpour in the 60s. April showers brings May flowers. It's the only thing I can think of because it's supposed to be pouring all week, which kind of stinks because it totally ruins any outdoor plans that I had for myself. And then when I leave with Autumn, I just have to be very careful with what I bring because if it's raining, like we need toilet paper, which is a very bad thing to need when you can't really take a bunch of little kids into the store with you. Uh, like right now it's 301, carpool line is redonkulously long because everyone's trying to pick up their kid through carpool line instead of like getting out of the car or walking. I was actually considering walking today. I'm so glad I didn't because it just started raining like four minutes before I was about to leave. And actually I was checking on my crock pot meal. Autumn? Oh, she's trying to eat the sun. I was checking on the crock pot meal and like shredding up the chicken and stuff. And all of a sudden I heard just like a big old huge thunder bolt or whatever, not a thunderbolt, uh, like a loud clap, thunder clap and then it just started pouring. So, I would have been totally stuck in it, which would have stunk having Autumn and then walking home with Emmy. She would have loved it, but it would have been awful for us. So, now I'm gonna go home, try and wait it out, and then go pick up Maddie, and if it looks better outside, I may stop by real quick and pick up toilet paper. <laughs> that just kinda stinks so too, cause I'm gonna have to get all of them out of the car, or, I may go try and pick up toilet paper right before I pick up Maddie and the dress works late tonight. So it's just us for dinner and, and whatnot, which typically I would pick something up or make something super quick, but I already have a crock pot meal. So I already have dinner. It's just more about figuring out how to get toilet paper. I guess we could use baby wipes if we absolutely had to. We got plenty of those at the house. I don't know whether we needed the rain or not, but I am not a fan of rain at all. I don't, I'm so glad I don't live in a place like Washington, beyond and in the middle of the day, who knows. In a place like Washington, or any other place that rains a lot, um, 
but I guess I should probably live in somewhere like California if I don't want it to rain that often because usually for us in San Antonio April is like the month of rain April and then sometimes in May I know like last year we had record we had like a record length of rain every single day but it's just no fun going out in the gloomy weather I don't even I have shorts on in a tank top today I was so excited for it to be hot and now look at it okay so I'm kind of afraid that the power is going to go out so I'm hoping this can finish cooking so if the power goes out and I don't have my crock pot anymore it's totally fine but essentially what I did was break up all the chicken it's not completely shredded there's like some chunkier pieces in it but I pretty much shredded it up as best I could without like with just my spoon without having to take it out and all that um, left it in the sauce of course and then right now I just stirred in some of the organic mixed veggies it has carrots corn peas and green beans this is from Costco so it kind of looks like the inside of what a pot pie would look like except it has cream and mushroom and then like I said for the carbs I am going to cook up some pasta if the power warrants that <laughs> if it doesn't then we will just be having this with some crackers or something I also I guess you could put in like biscuits here at the end and um, kind of make chicken and dumplings if you wanted more of a carb but yeah this is what's for dinner tonight it actually looks and smells delicious I can't wait to dig in okay so I think the bulk of the storm has passed okay, I'm gonna put you guys in the microwave for a second I am checking on the food because I want to make sure that it's completely done so I can turn it on to warm all the veggies and everything are put together I'm pretty sure yeah it looks delicious it smells very very good veggies aren't overcooked too much I have a pot of water boiling or about to boil on the stove it's 441 I am going to let that boil start the noodles let them cook take them off and then go get Maddie and then that way when we get home um, weather's died down it's not too ugly outside dinner's already ready and then I will make a little helping for Andres when he gets home from work later tonight and then we'll have leftovers either for lunch tomorrow or throughout the week Maddie has school tomorrow but then she'll be out Tuesday and Friday's Good Friday so she'll be out those two days and then I think yeah, they're back to school on Monday. So, that'll be fun. I just got done talking with Andres. He had a little break. He was eating uh, his lunch. And then he has a long night ahead of him. And I'm tired. <laughs> and just the thought of like being by myself tonight kind of stinks. I hate being by myself. I hate when he has to work late. Just because... Not even necessarily because I can't handle the kids or anything crazy like that. I just, I get lonely. You know, it's already bad enough that I'm by myself kind of throughout the day. I mean, I have Autumn, but she's a baby and she doesn't talk yet. I think as she gets older, I mean, she's starting to play and stuff, which is nice. But I think as she gets older, ooh, I think as she gets older, it'll be easier for me to not feel as lonely. So, I knew. I'm adding in a few other spices, some paprika and some parsley, just because. So I've been watching Shelly's Home Life because you guys recommended her. She's super sweet. I, I think I talked about her earlier. I really like her accent. She's um, very relatable. I don't know too, too much about her family and stuff because I haven't really watched that into her vlog, uh, her um, videos. But I have been watching her weekly grocery hauls with the um, meal... The menu like their um, meal plan for the week or whatever which Sam Samantha from happily a housewife does that as well so I'm kind of like that seems to be a trend two videos seem to be kind of trendy weekly grocery shopping with a meal plan which I typically don't go week weekly grocery shopping I just feel like that's too tedious however last month I did go weekly grocery shopping at least I was at the grocery store every single week but I'm trying to go another week I've, it's already been a week since I've been at the grocery store I'm trying to go at least another week if not two more weeks before I have to go back um, I think we have pretty much everything except milk like we'll have milk through the week I may have to pick up milk but that should be about it 
So I'm kind of hoping I can make it. But if I don't, my bad. So I really don't think I want to do weekly grocery haul slash meal planning. But something that she does upload is like a weekly what we had for dinner type of thing, which I have been keeping track of on my own, just dinners in general, what we eat in the little mini happy planner, what we eat for dinner every day and how often I go to the grocery store and stuff like that. So I wouldn't mind filming like what we have for dinner every single night instead of including it in the vlog kind of have like a separate video and upload that once a week. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comments below. I have a piece of bread. Don't you hate that when you find like a little piece of food in your bra or in your shirt later in the day? <laughs> yeah, so like I said, I'd be happy to do that. That would be kind of cool. Or like what I'm eating. I don't know that I would show every single meal just because some meals like aren't pre-scheduled or anything. It's just like make a sandwich and go. What I'm eating, maybe like the days that I'm faithfully doing Weight Watchers kind of show you the points that I have per day and stuff like that. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comments below. And then also, um, I was thinking about doing cleaning, power hour cleaning, which I just got done watching from Samantha's channel. I thought that was kind of cool. Essentially, she just cleans. She sets a timer on her phone and cleans whatever in the house needs to be done. She, I've seen it done both ways. She done, I'm trying to get the steam out of the camera she does it both ways I've or there's I've seen people do it both ways where they set a timer on their phone and they just record different things Samantha I love her videos <laughs> I just think it's funny because she's a stay-at-home mom she has three kids and I can relate totally even though I don't stay at home but she writes a list of the things she wants to accomplish and she sees how much she can kind of mark off in that hour's worth of time just cleaning the house just like cleaning different aspects of it. I wouldn't necessarily include like my Etsy stuff or any tax related things or anything for the, like any of my normal work. I would definitely just do cleaning. So I don't know, let me know in the comments below what you think about those two types of videos. I'm gonna go before the steam gets a little bit too dramatic here in the camera. If you guys are interested in those types of videos, I'd be happy to start them. Let's see, you'll watch this Wednesday start them next week, but definitely let me know. Hi guys. <laughs> Ow, she's gone. So it looks like she's gonna get ready. Okay then, today me and Adam are gonna have a listen. Isn't that right? <laughs> she has a lose too. And here they are, they're coming right back. Chicken with pasta. And what else? Just that with vegetables. Yeah. Mommy, how come it's called creamy chicken? Because it has a uh, cream of mushroom soup. Mommy, do you have a good day? Yes. Hi, guys. Are these my Cool. Can you fix this? They're all ready. You must really do it. No. No. This may not look appetizing, but it's actually delicious. And no complaints from the girls. Maddie's plate's almost gone. Emmy had a huge old plate over there. She said it was delicious. You like it? Do you like it? I like it. I yeah. Like it. Autumn, you like your baba? Yeah, corn is so good. Delicious. She's having corn. Autumn, what is it that you're doing there? Hmm? What exactly are you doing, moms? Autumn! You're showing all your lady bits. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. I see you tomorrow. I just got done feeding Autumn. And she's out. I can't... <laughs> I can't get her to finish the rest of her bottle now. I'm just like seeing if she'll burp. She's probably not going to. She has been, mm, she's tested my patience today. 
she's been really whiny all day long all day if she's whiny again tomorrow i'll probably try and give her some tylenol because she's chewing on everything inside her she has her bottom incisor the bottom right already broke the skin and it's like halfway out now her left one is coming out I, maddie got both of hers at the same time so i was kind of hoping autumn would get both of hers at the same time because if they just both come through and like you at least have a little bit of a break before they get the top teeth although by the time maddie was one she already had all her baby teeth except her mole her four molars all of them so i don't know i don't know if autumn's gonna follow suit or not she seems to be a little bit more of a easy <laughs> easy going temperamental very uh not as temperamental as maddie was um and a little bit more on the i don't want to say lazy but on the slower side of development like by seven i mean she'll be seven and a half months in a few days and maddie had already been sitting up she was already getting into a crawl position although maddie didn't really start moving with crawling until she was like 10 months but she was still she was already sitting up by herself she had been since like six months and um she was rolling over like rolling 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 autumn still kind of panics when she's on her belly too long and I can't really get her to sit up by herself yet. <laughs> so she's a little on the slower side of things. And I don't, sorry mom. It's okay. Shh. I don't know if it's because she's heavier. <coughs> or what it is because she is, like the weight and size she is now is how Maddie was when she was nine months. So she's several months ahead of Maddie. Which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Every baby's different. Every baby develops differently. Uh, it's just easy to kind of go based on previous children that you've had. Just like now, the things that Maddie goes through, I'm co I constantly am like, I don't remember Emmy doing that. You know, because we didn't get Emmy until she was 19 months. So as Maddie started to go through those like developments in life, it was easy for me to compare them. Now that autumn's here and is a baby i just compare her and maddie automatically i don't know it's just easy for me to do that so autumn is i don't know if she's frustrated because she's not moving as much but then i put her on the floor and play with her or put her in her bouncer or on the jolly jumper and she only tolerates everything for for very little amounts of time she doesn't really like watching movies or interacting with the tv or like any kind of a electronic of any sort which i don't necessarily feel like babies should be but some babies really like the stimulation of tv like maddie used to love watching uh, hotel transylvania autumn doesn't really care for anything <laughs> she just is kind of i mean she's laid back and easy going but she's she's a little bit more picky and um she wants to be held and I don't know that's probably my fault because I held her so much because when she was a baby baby I was like you may be my last baby I'm gonna hold you forever I think I talked about that in vlogs and now it's payback payback <laughs> because she just wants to be held she wants to be on your hip at all times and walked around with and the thing is is I wouldn't mind strapping her I had the ergo baby I could strap her on me it's just my back is injured I mean you guys know that I injured I injured it almost two years ago now at work and so my back I have a good days and bad days with my back and lately it's been hurting more and more and I I feel like it's just because of my weight I truly need to get on it but because of that when I carry her in the ergo baby I can only tolerate it for so long before it starts to hurt me so because of that, I can't carry her around all day. Plus, ooh, she's a big baby. And so to have her in the ergo baby in the house, it's like I can't really lean over and do stuff. It's a lot of, she's 20 pounds. It's, it's that much extra weight added to me. It's already hard enough carrying my big old body around. So it's just harder for me to do stuff. And today was a day that I truly needed to get stuff done. And I really didn't get that much accomplished today because she just, I wish I could tune her out and let her cry it out, but she won't stop. And I can't, I can't tune it out. I can't just 
leave the room. You know, it breaks my heart to hear her cry. But when she's whining and not just crying, it annoys and frustrates me when I'm trying to get something done. So it is what it is. She'll only be this little for a little while longer, so I'm enjoying it. But at the same time, it's very difficult to get stuff done. So, anywho. We still had a good day, huh? We still had a good day. So now I'm going to put her to bed. She's out. I was going to try and get her to finish her bottle, but she's done for the day. It's 9.15. Big girls have already been in bed for like an hour and a half. I need to edit and do a couple of things. And then I'm going to relax. And hopefully my honey bunny will be home soon. Maybe we can watch a show together and then call it a night. Okay, I have another batch of orders going out tomorrow. So if you have received a shipping notification in the last few days, all of my orders should be out tomorrow. Um, I know I got a couple messages from you guys asking where, or like that, what had happened to the order and stuff. All my orders are being shipped out. I am exporting the vlog right now. I never did an actual video on the um, spring surprise box from Erin Condren. And I want to put this stuff away. So I thought I would just kind of show you guys what I got. There's what the box looks like. Pretty small box in consideration uh, to what it was last, or last season. This is the spring seasonal surprise box. I think this was $35 plus shipping, if I'm not mistaken. It has a card telling you what's in it. Another card talking about the hard notebooks and then... Uh, another card with a coupon code for 40% off of your art prints. Then, I'm just going to show you guys pretty quickly what it is. What's this? Oh, a little note card with the denim bloom print. Is that what this is called? I actually have uh, my one of my covers is that. This is number nine floral ink folded note card plus envelope and small circle label so that's cool that's we'll go right up there to send as a thank you to one of you guys i have already seen unboxings of these so i know exactly what's in it so that kind of makes it no fun but <laughs> i thought i would share it with you guys in case you haven't seen it oh i love the texture of this Love, love, love. This is a sneak peek. These are already out, though. The Cherry Blossom Hardbound Notebook. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. The best way to get things done is to begin. Look how beautiful that is. OMG, I love it. 10% off your next hardbound notebook. Cool. Oh, I love this. This is like a journal. This would be a cute little journal. Classic line notebook, college ruled, on the go, take note. But really, I think this would be a super cute, and my pages are stuck together. This would be just like a super cute individual little journal, and I love the feel of this on the outside. Oh, cool. And yeah, see, this is like, to me, like a personal journal, because it also has a little, like, bookmark thing here. I feel like Elena Gilbert writing in my journal and then they also gave a notepad this is the floral ink notepad and it doesn't have a magnet or anything on it it just has a floral ink design with some writing at the bottom on the go address book which i'm kind of upset about because i just bought this in this order actually the same order that i uh, bought the seasonal box in i also ordered the address booklet on the go. So now I have two of them. I guess it doesn't hurt to have two of them, but I do. Came with two sticker sheets. Again, these are already out. No, these are exclusive spring sticker sheets. So it's just the regular sticker thing of paper with the water, the watercolor. It's like both of the watercolor prints. So I actually really like these. I'm using one of these in my hourly this week. Um, these are the, a sneak peek of the Cherry Blossom Corner Pockets. I actually, there's 20 of them. Oh, okay, so it's just to, like, keep little things. 20 adhesive scallop corner pockets. I actually have one of these type of things in my YouTube notebook. 
This is the, um, my battery died, so I don't really know where it left off. I think I was showing this. This is the 2017, just the regular monthly planner, the one that's bound. And I have one of these 3M large pocket sticker things here in the front to hold stickers. So I would guess this is kind of the same idea, just in a very small version of it. Um, you can stick it at the corner of a page like this and then stick little things in it. So that's kind of cute. And then we have a sneak peek of the mini magnetic page markers. They're little tiny gold, silver, and rose gold page markers. So that's kind of cute. They're super tiny though. I don't know if they fit one page or what. <clears throat> this is, is this all of it? Let's see, did I show everything? Yes, except this. So this is the Stay A While Rose Gold Art Print in an exclusive new size. How cute! And rose gold, look at that. This will fit perfect in here. I'll put it up here somewhere. Awesome. I don't know why I don't, I don't remember seeing this on anyone's. I may have totally seen it and not realized it. So this box was $35. If you sign up as a new, uh, with a new email, you can get $10 off your first purchase. I don't know if it applies to the seasonal box or not. Um, but if you sign up for the emails, they will send you an email letting you know when the next seasonal box is. So they had a fall one, and then this was spring, so the next one should be summer. This is super cute. I really like this. Framed and everything. And then, like I said, they gave you the 40% off of um, art prints and stuff. So pretty good box. I mean, nothing that like jumped out at me that I would for sure run and purchase like right this second. I do love the fact that the notebooks are like you can get different colors, and I'm glad that I got the pink one. So that was kind of cool. But for 35 bucks, I mean, you know, I could have took it or take it or leave it type of thing. But it was nice to see some stuff and get sneak peeks. I just didn't open this prior to this stuff coming out. So I already had an idea what was in it. I'll definitely order the summer one. But if you want to sign up for Erin Condren, I always have a link down below that'll save you $10 off your first purchase if you've never purchased from them before. Um, I mean, I do get a credit for that, so if you don't want to use it, it's totally fine. It doesn't really matter to me. I spend my own money with Erin Condren all the time. But if you want to save $10, that code is there. So I thought I would show you guys so I could get that put away. Hope you all enjoyed. I'm going to wait for this to export. And the rest is on his way home. Thank goodness. Maybe him and I can watch a show or something and then head to bed. Um, tomorrow I'm hanging with Bia. I actually haven't talked to her, so I'm pretty sure I'm hanging with Bia the majority of the day and then tomorrow night the girls don't know this but my mom actually gifted us Disney on Ice tickets which we took the big girls when I was pregnant last year we so we took Emmy that was one of our first after we adopted Emmy like after her adoption was finalized in November of 2012 it was one of the first, aside from Christmas, one of the first like true family outings we had and I didn't realize I was pregnant at the time. Like I was pregnant, I actually have the picture framed right there. It's this, it's this corner one right here. Um, we took her to Disney on Ice and it was just, it was so fun. She was a little over three and I was pregnant and I didn't realize I was pregnant at the time with Maddie. And so that was like our first little family outing, which was super special. And then we did not take Maddie as a baby. We took them for the first time last year. Maddie really enjoyed it. And so my mom got us all tickets to go tomorrow night. So that's what the plan is for tomorrow. So I really need to get on a move, get a move on and get all this stuff done, try and edit the vlog because tomorrow is going to be kind of a busy day. So I'm going to call it a night. I hope you guys enjoyed today's rambly long vlog with not much content in it. <laughs> I hope it was enjoyable. It, you guys know I'm always like trying to please everybody and it's just not always possible. So I hope it at least was watchable. Maybe not even enjoyable, watchable. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.